Alright, so... Um... I wanted to restart so you could see the intro, but I'm not sure how to restart. Uh, you can't, and also... The, if I'd have to quit game, right? The, prob the problem is, um... The game's... That intro movie it plays is a different resolution, and so the window changes really? randomly to different sizes randomly, and it it's hard to capture. What if I gave it a shot though? Because I remember like when oh. um when Blackville Legacy kept crashing, like all it did was just record nothing okay. until I, I rebooted it. Give it a try. I'll just be different resolutions. I don't know if it'll all fit right. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of sort of be able to see it, see half of it to the right. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so let's try it out. Okay. Because the beginning is awesome. You guys need to know... Need to know about the beginning. Yeah, the beginning's real good. Whoa! Alt enter? Yeah, it did, it did a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, it's doing the weird thing. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, it's changing re resolutions constantly. Yep. Every video is a different resolution. But all these intros are like hilarious to me. You can see most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see most of it. It's all it's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. Ignore the bottom chunk there. Mm hmm. Sets up Harvester. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good intro. What's that about? <laughs> Whoa. I love I how remember, dramatic it's being. <laughs> I remember all the names they show here. A lot of them really goofy sounding. Chad Woyawadzik. <laughs> Craig Rundles. <laughs> <laughs> well, rough for my Rundles. John Johns! Shut the fuck up! That's not your name! <laughs> His name is John Johns! Oh, these guys are too normal. Yeah, Steve Goodman, get out. <laughs> Gilbert Austin, whatever. Normal name. Name haver. Where's my John Johns? My Hank Hanks. <laughs> I love the logo for Harvester because it looks really similar to the Unreal Tournament logo. This pasty white guy. <laughs> Slightly chubby white guy. Mm -hmm. In front of a blue screen. Well, let's put on the shirt that's too big for me, and I'm set for the day. Ready set for, for adventure. adventure. So, this is Harvester, y'all. Let's play it. Cool. You should probably read these gameplay tips. Uh, yes. So, gameplay tips. Use the right, right mouse button to attack an opponent. You don't do that until, like, the very fucking end of the game. Mm -hmm. And if you just click next, there's just gonna be, like, gameplay tips for fucking ever. There's some weird ones, though. Yeah, left-click your character to get your inventory. Um, you can grab things. 
and then right click to put it in your inventory. That's also strange. And then a penny saved is hardly worth the effort. <laughs> click around to move. Talk to characters. Avoid cliches like the plague. <laughs> Ammunition is precious, so don't waste it. Again, you do not fight anything until the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get stuck, try using items in a crazy, illogical way, because it's a fucking adventure game. Save your game the before you do something else. The puzzles of this game nuts. aren't even that bad, really. Nah! Some of them are a little weird to, like, get working, I think, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but none of them are really that, you know... Obtuse. Like I, 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 when I played this, I was able to pretty much do everything on my own. Mm. Uh, never really had to look up walkthroughs. Control button plus the arrow keys allows you to attack opponents. You don't need to do that ever. No. Look before you leap. The help screen can be helpful, or better yet, read the <laughs> manual. <laughs> pick your friends. You pick your nose. You can't pick your friend's nose. Close ups. Activating, deactivating weapons, press escape to bring up the menu, options, combine objects, sound levels are in the options, gamma is in the options. As you take damage, your photo and the inventory screen gets worse. Mm -hmm. Look for items that restore your health. Isn't there like a sandwich way later? You're gross looking sandwich and he's like, yeah. yum, a sandwich! By the way, I just noticed in the, the stream right now, in the very bottom left corner, you can still see like the little uh, Skype call thing going. Whoops! fix that there you go it's because the window opened in a different place than yeah, it was previously that, that's what i figured whoopsie doodles all right we looped around exit mm -hmm. so this is us we're this fucking kid yeah he's cool yep he's a cool like guy his, his uh posture is really good mm-hmm Hey, fun fact, this guy, who is our, our, our protagonist, he ended up getting arrested for child pornography. Whoops! Whoops! Oopsies! Great job, you monster! <laughs> <laughs> One of your typical wall clocks. You can click and look at everything in this room, and I think there's yeah, like, like nothing. Nothing matters. You can examine yeah, like, every stupid, matters. shitty little thing in here. Go back to bed. <laughs> a sexy pinup. Ah, oh, he whistles when you look at the sexy pinup. I forgot about that. What? Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging <laughs> neatly in the closet. I love that shit. Dresser drawer is unlocked. Oh, I can go in the dresser drawer. That's right. Wow, look how busted the dresser is. There's like shit all over it. Yeah. A quarter. Can't. I think I picked it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think you need a quarter for something. Looks like pills or something at the bottom here, but I can't. I can't touch them. As of yet, the future isn't so bright. I love the giant exit sign. Mm hmm It's great. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's get out of here and figure out what the hell's going on. Also, I love his uh, walk cycle. I know, he's just like he's... shuffling everywhere. Yeah, it's it's a shuffle. I'm like, eh, okay, alright. Let's go into the, the kitchen. Oh, look, a baby. A newborn is sleeping soundly. In the kitchen? In the kitchen. Punch. Punch the baby. Yeah, punching is really weird. Yeah, it's relative to where you're pointing. You can do high, mid, or low punches. Like a fighting game, but it's... Um... <laughs> um I love this music, too. There's cookies. There's cookies. There's cookies everywhere. A cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. Talk to mom. You know, that seems like a really bad place to have those knives. 
Where? In the cupboard above Oh, the yeah. That does seem like a bad place. Well, hello there. there it goes. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. <laughs> sure. Our first, you and always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> I wonder how many there are in the game. Hmm. Your name will be Mud is a really uh, old phrase. Is Just, it? Yeah. Like, hmm. like his name's Mud or whatever. That means like his. We don't talk about him or something. Hmm. <laughs> Ask about mud. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there's an Easter egg with the mom. Oh, I know, I'm gonna do it at the end. You could forget yes! That. What college? I haven't college? actually... Oh wait, no, I have a heard say it once. diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. 18 years old and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. Who's Stephanie? Oh, see, did you notice that a bunch of shit disappeared? Mm -hmm. So if we want to bring up old topics, we have to either reroute around to them, which sometimes you can't do, or you have to remember what the topics were. And type it in, yep. yep. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance is having poop. second thoughts about the wedding. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and now this. <laughs> heartbreak of psoriasis. Two weeks before the wedding, and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Fiance? This is <laughs> I love that interaction shot he's got there. Stephanie, Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters? Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. <laughs> cooking and cleaning? What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? Honestly, boys are so dense. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty. When the time comes. Let's talk about duty. <laughs> Bless your innocence, but there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. You can't know what I'm talking about, and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. <laughs> dirt on his hoe. Oh, let's ask about our dad. <laughs> My father. We don't He's in talk the other about room. your dad. He decided to sleep in today. <laughs> Now, please, let me get back to my cookies. Tell me about the cookies, Ma. The bake sale is on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. <laughs> but you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't charge you to eat out of the trash. Help yourself. <laughs> what charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? 
I love this game. This game is great. Like, in the specific end, it's kind of ham-handed with what it, you have it to pay tries to do, but I think with such it, it, gets, I it nails the atmosphere and this, the weirdness yeah. really well. Uh, Tell me more about this in a way that it felt like they knew what they Why were doing so for the majority of the time. As yeah, you, they just fudged the ending pretty bad. Financial help. I still like the ending, though. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a problem. The ending's so kind of awesome. As folks are taken care of, it's the will of the lodge. Uh, tell me about this lodge. What's that about? What lodge? Mm. Mm. The, of the order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest. And the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. <laughs> <I've never laughs> TM. One, but I, know <laughs> I forgot I that she says TM. Instead of yeah. sulking around the house all day, TM. Why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? <laughs> I'll look into it, or last thing I want is a fez on my head. Let's do last thing I want is a fez on my head. Don't be so hasty, Steve. I think you'll find Harvest is a pretty dull place without the lodge. You sound like the membership director. Don't be silly. I just want what's best for you, that's all. Tell me about Harvest. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Blah, blah, blah. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Ah, way to... Way to be a bitch, Mom. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> I thought fuck you worked, too. Nah, unfortunately. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation, now that your father is out of action? Ah, uh, I didn't mean it, or yeah, how about it? Mmm... Uh, how about it? <laughs> Maybe later, dear. Right now I have housework to do. Though you can watch if you want. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. What? Uh. Uh. What? Let's try punching my mom. No, don't punch your mom. I want to punch my mom. Save first. <laughs> I love this <laughs> this save background. It reminds me of Silent Hill 2. Yeah, it's, it's very Silent Hill 2. Now that I think about it. Sa the save background's kind of creepy. Did I do it or what? I can't really tell. It makes my cursor move down to the left. You, you have to type in the, oh. name of the save file. I think. Gonna punch mama. <laughs> okay. Hey, ma. <laughs> Excuse me, Harvester. You want me to click on anything or what? Uh oh. Okay, let's exit. I'm allowed to exit. Okay, I don't know why it was being so weird. Alright, Ma. Let's see if I can hit you from all the way over here. It's not letting me. It's not letting me punch at all. Am I not allowed to punch my Ma? No, you can totally punch her. I've seen her get punched <sighs> before. Just step a little closer to me, Mother! Oh, okay. Whoa! The violence! <laughs> punch baby. <laughs> nah, no punching babies. No punching babies allowed. Whoop. I may have skipped a cutscene by accident. <laughs> what were you thinking? Attacking someone <laughs> like that? With so many witnesses around? You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. Look, my mom is there. <laughs> Somebody help me! <laughs> what do you people want from me? Too late for that, boy. <laughs> I just love the look on his. Somebody help me!
I love the lodge guy. I read that apparently this the blood coming out of his mouth, like some of it was real. Mm-hmm. And some of it was a uh, post, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I think like uh, the real stuff was actually like I think it was shaving cream that had Ugh. red dye in it, and it tasted horrible. Oh God! All right, load game. Let's not punch Mama. <laughs> Don't punch Mom. Don't punch Mom. Don't punch, punch mommy. mommy. <laughs> So yeah, like everyone, you can kill I think almost everybody in the game, and they all have like yeah. really gory. Uh, they all have pretty gory looking deaths yeah. if you punch them. Yeah. It's like coughing noises. My dad in the master bedroom. Yep. Let's talk to what? Hank. Hey, Hank. Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kidder, Steve. Leave me alone. Second, you always I'm were a kidder, sick. Steve. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Shut up. Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... Like you don't know. I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now. Huh. Too bad you wouldn't pay me and I had to tell. Huh. Huh. What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one too? Wait till I tell. I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV! TV. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, oh, yeah, I can see the sweet totally TV clip, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Retro. All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I... Now that Switching I aspect ratios it, all over the place. Mm-hmm. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, retro. It means... It means... Oh, man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. I'm watching my cowboy show. Tell me about the cowboy show. So I can see the clip. Your show isn't black and white. What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I. I think I've seen a color television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides. Blood and guts are neater. Little kids shouldn't watch violence. Well, you can't <laughs> stop me, so let You're me alone. You're right, this is really or neat. <laughs> Have you noticed that... What? Well, what? See what happens if we do the other thing. The... You're right, that's totally neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Good. I thought I could watch the clip. Oh. Nope, I think it was just that clip they showed once before oh. already, so. Excuse me, let me walk, please. <laughs> Finding the wrong places to walk to. I'm not sure why the walking thing is so weird for you. You should just let you go pretty much anywhere. There's so Make sure many. To pick up that newspaper. Yep. 
Also, save again. Yeah. And do do the thing. <laughs> Gonna do the thing <laughs> is the save file name. Mm-hmm. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? I'm Jimmy uh, James. <laughs> I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Got better things well, to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day. Everything will be Jake. Mine. Everything Say, will be just you got Jake. Any spare sneakers? Nope. Whoa, that's great. What could you give me? You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Forget it. Why do I care what they're what they're doing? Well, I'll tell them to take the sneakers because I don't even have sneakers. Before I give you the keys, <laughs> I'm not sure, let actually. me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, get it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers, and that's that. See you later, alligator. Strikes a hard bargain. All right, let's let's do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, at the wrong angle to do the thing. I'm not sure why your movement's being so. Oh. Weird. I'm too close to him to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk away then. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Little game, gonna do the thing. <laughs> Don't punch the newspaper boy. Do not punch the newspaper boy. That is illegal. Phillips head screws hmm. mm. over the over the room that my dad is in the master bedroom. Hmm. <laughs> you feel they're humming in your dreams. Your dreams. Well, I should give that kid the newspaper, right? Yep. Oop. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember? Uh. Hey, Steve. Oh. I guess I did it. Oops, I skipped it. That's right. <laughs> uh. Pro <but> strats. <laughs> okay. Alright. So let's uh, journey on out. Can you check the mailbox? I forget if there's anything in the mailbox. I don't know. Let's find out. Nope. Junk mail. Okay. Big cell flyers. Shuffle on out, Steve. <laughs> So, there's a lot of stuff there to check out. There are quite a few places to check out in this It is actually place. a very large town. Got four units to go around. Mm -hmm. Let's go to this lodge because it was the only thing mentioned so far. It happens to be the biggest building in town, too. Alright. Um, I don't think I want to join the lodge. <laughs> What are you talking about? The lodge looks great. <laughs> I mean, you got a drippy pipe, you got glowy red eyes. <laughs> you got a guy that sounds like this. Yes, I love this guy. Say He's something. the easiest voice to do. Anybody can do it. <laughs> I'm touching your mind like all the time. Some people call me the mind toucher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good impression of him, though. <laughs> hey, I'm off work at five. Do you want to go grab something to eat? <laughs> uh, 
Yes, I would like to join the lodge. I mean, yes, I would like to join the lodge. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. That's actually my real voice. <laughs> Paperwork. All right, give me application. Applications are available at the post office. Can you verify that you're a U.S. citizen? <laughs> or do you have a work visa? Return it to you, or what? Do you have any prior convictions? <laughs> You need at least three years experience in lodge work to get a position at the lodge. <laughs> and if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Alright, so we have to go <laughs> to go to the post office. Alright. An alarming green sludge oozes from the strain. Ugh, alarming. Got a little blinky creature in there. So that's that's all to do here, really. Mm-hmm. For now. Yep. So that's the lodge. Yep, that's the lodge. For we want to join the cool kids club. All right, let's go to the post office. Forty-one percent off packing peanuts. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, what a steal! Nice. What a goddamn steal! <laughs> oh, glory flag. Mr. Pastorelli forgot to put the paper out for Jimmy. Why? Why is there a marching band in the background right now? <laughs> There's, I don't know, but there always is. Okay. Welcome to Harvest. There are edible peak packing peanuts now? Why would you want what? to eat packing peanuts? <laughs> what if they were like those uh, discontinued planters PB crisps? Then I would totally eat them. <laughs> Oh, well, they have lodge applications here. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. What's that mm -hmm. mean, man? What? Man. Hello, I'm the postmaster as well. <laughs> I'm very fast. I ran here. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? I'd like a lodge application, sir. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of Man, I'm gonna have to replay right this game now. myself, because fuck, on. I love this game. You must game. have one around mm -hmm. here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't I wish there were more that. games like this. And I only mm -hmm. make copies once a month Bizarre. on the button, regular as clockwork. Bizarre, but while also knowing what it's doing. <laughs> yeah. I guess we should talk about that after this postman part. Oh, I'll go Kelly to make a copy of a paper. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. Can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. <laughs> Bye! It's the only thing I can say. <laughs> Is there anything else I should ask him, though? I don't think no. so. I don't think there's anything else you can. Nope. Not really. Next time you post, don't forget the zip Sims code. Magic, the reason why we want to join the, the lodge is because that's what her mom suggested. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what every man does at like a coming of age. When they become a man. Mm -hmm. It's like apply to the lodge. It's our only lead too. We mm -hmm. are am amnesiac, Steve. We don't know what the hell's going on. Everyone's insisting we go to this lodge, so we keep thinking the lodge has answers. So literally like every character will bring up the lodge. <laughs> So it's mm -hmm. like, go to the lodge. So this game has a lot of stuff to say. Um, mm -hmm. About lots of shit, but mostly about I violence. Suppose. Yeah. Mostly about violence. This place is probably about, you know, bureaucracy and order. This particular place. And it's a lot of, like, um, making, you know, criticizing nostalgia for simpler times as well. Yo, you should get that cup. 
I can't. Oh wait, no, you can't get that cup. I'm, I'm thinking of a different thing. <laughs> Some other pixel hunt, I'm sure. There, there's a single other pixel hunty thing where it kind of blends in with the road, I think. Mm. Uh, I heard a request to go to my girlfriend's house, which is uh, this place, I believe. Oh, no. oh Spiritus, I've, I've played this guy. entire game before. I am the one that showed Voidburger this game a while ago. Mm -hmm. so she's never played it, but she knows the gist of the game. Yep, it's awesome. Here's my girlfriend's house. Oh, it's next to my house, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. The Potsdam residence. It's, a, it's in between screens here. Yep. Garage door needs a paint job. Pop on in, check out our fiance. If I remember correctly, there's weird ambient sound effects in this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like right. a, it's like a UFO sound. Like, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it's, just, it's just always leaves getting blown by wind mm -hmm. for some reason. Uh, check out this uh, meat picture. The man of the house squeezing his meat. It's because Mr. Potsdam runs the butcher place. Mm -hmm. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Pottstown household? Huh? Huh? Also, it's like these leaves are so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my memory. <laughs> what a card. Would I kid about something like that? Why won't you believe me? Well, well you always are a kidder, kid, Steve. Steve. Number three. <laughs> you telephoned us about your lady's shenanigans. Isn't that right, Mrs. Pottstown? Sure did, Mr. Potsdam. Hey, it's my mom. You little rascal. Imagination's a swell thing to have. What the? In small amounts. Man needs to keep his feet on the ground, especially if he's getting married. <laughs> Tell me, is your father feeling better? Is he going back to the slaughterhouse? Any oh, my soon? dad is a slaughterhouse guy. That's right. Not him. Yeah. He's just a fan of it. Mm hmm He just loves meat. Yeah, he just loves meat. This is sick. I'm supposed to marry this Stephanie, and I don't even know who she is. Now look, Steve, a joke is all well and good, but don't go scaring me like that. I'm not joking. Now look, a commitment is a commitment. You're going to marry my daughter. We'll be one happy family, and your dad's going to give me all the meat I want. Right? Right? Let's talk about meat. <laughs> <laughs> meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. Well, even he's talking about the lodge. <laughs> Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. I've heard Turn down the leaves! There than they know <laughs> what to do. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Mrs. Potsdam grounded Stephanie. So you better go ask her permission before you go upstairs. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. You will remind your dad about the meat. Meat. You want you? Meat. I haven't seen my father. <laughs> He's locked in a room. I hear him moaning. But that's all. He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Meat. Yeah, fine. <laughs> if I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you'd take over. Right? I can't imagine a better job than working in a slaughterhouse. <laughs> can't imagine a better job than working in a slaughterhouse. 
<laughs> I don't want to work in a filthy slaughterhouse. Bite your tongue with that serpent's tooth. Your dad's slaughterhouse is the most successful business in Harvest. <coughs> Sand height. Love Thank you. There. Oh, sure. Yeah, somebody just pointed out that chair is kind of tiny. Yeah. <laughs> kind of chair. <laughs> yanking out the bloody guts. Intestines dangling and slapping against you. The smell of death and shit in your nostrils all the time. Well, those are all definite cons. But which you done? The guts have been washed Ugh. into the gutters. What was that? What you left with? Meat. Whoa. Rows and rows. Sounds like the audio just Scrunch. fucked up for a second. <laughs> I think that happened with me once or twice when I played this game too. Wah, spooky. <laughs> Bye. I love how Mrs. Potsdam not only doesn't have a first name, but mm. she is the same woman that plays my mom, and she's just uh, my mom in a wig and same voice actress and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? You look just like my mom except for the hair. Honestly. You men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same yeah, what happens if you say fuck to her? Same thing. <laughs> so bizarre. Guess we'll find out. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted Mrs. on... Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I love this commentary. Like both of the of the the women characters so far don't even have first names. It's just Mom and Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. Like they're completely defined by their their gender role of just being the mom in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Also, your stream's at two hundred viewers right now. Oh, cool! Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. What's wrong with wearing pearls for heaven's sake? Nothing, but. You look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know. <laughs> situation comedy. Me. The weird part is Stop these politics. You're literally behind. reversing the timeline. <laughs> I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potsdam would know about sitcoms. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. She's grounded. Mr. Potsdam feels there's too much to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No! She just don't want to be more about the wedding. Mm -hmm. Every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car or a falling piano or who knows what. Fallen piano. Mr. Potsdam wants us all to be one happy family, and he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. Can I see Stephanie? I don't see any reason why not. Okay. You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though, so keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love, rather than over at Moynihan's place. The Chapel of Love? So who's Mr. Moynihan? Mr. Moynihan runs oh, the wayward shit. hotel. Oh, shit, I can't remember. Oh, the funeral guy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yes. But the order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application. But so far. What can you tell me about the lodge? Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you ought to pick up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms. Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, wouldn't that be... Yeah, nice? I'd love to have a wedding in this, like, creepy, leaky place. <laughs> <laughs> like, green goo squirting like everywhere. Like, man and wife. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's a really good impression. Thank you. I just realized I could do that voice out of the blue. 
Oh, well, it's you, brilliant. Can you, can you type in? Oh uh, yes, hello, that's right. She's upstairs. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, she doesn't know what it is. Oh. Give my regards. I wonder if it to it's just it only works with your. I mom. think it's only your mom. Yeah. <laughs> you may kiss the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uncanny. There's nothing to do in this in this house. All right, so we can go up and see Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, make sure you go to the bathroom first. The ashtray is shaped like a particular human organ, which shall remain nameless. <laughs> oh my god! I never noticed that before. He's got a dick ashtray. Yep. Or a vulva ashtray. <laughs> A vault would probably make more sense to use as an ashtray, but <laughs> since it can contain such things. Mm -hmm. The upholstery stained after years of profuse sweating. Ugh, profuse! Wow. Also, I love that several bits of the, the house is just are, is just cracking. Yeah, Both cracking. In their, it's like a really shitty house. Also, the rooms are so big, and, but kind of empty. Mm -hmm. Examine the thing. It's, you know, one of those things. <laughs> 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 also, all the all the plastic plants. Every plant is plastic. Oh, whoops. That's right. Yeah, every every plant in this entire town is plastic. Every single plant is plastic, except the ones outside, I guess. But he has no um, no comment on them. Oh, it's shoes. Oh, ceramic baby shoes. Yep. These books are obviously fakes. <laughs> <laughs> like what? The books are fake. Yep, the bathroom. She's purdy. <laughs> yeah, because I think there's some stuff he can take from the cabinet. The medicine cabinet. And then there's <sighs> that other thing he can do in here. Mm. Thin layer of hair coats virtually every inch of ceramic. <laughs> Everything's Ugh. so subtly disgusting. Wads of used tissues, some of them stuck to the sides. Ugh. Ugh. Operate the toilet. Coarse sandpaper. It'd be painful to wipe with this stuff. Ugh. Toothpaste, <laughs> pubic hair, and snot in the in the sink. God. Love this fucking game. <laughs> Let's check out the medicine cabinet and steal all their shit. Let's take the aspirin. Mm -hmm. Extra strength oral lube. Great for getting in and out of, out of tight spots. Ew, but also picking that up. Cough medicine. Pick it up. Disinfectant. Yeast disinfectant. Not to be used for baking cookies. I cannot <laughs> pick that up. No. Toothpaste. Can't pick up. Tampons. Better ask Stephanie about these. Let's pick them up too. Mm -hmm. I also like this game because it's like the first game ever that lets you pick up tampons. <laughs> <laughs> Even Gone Home doesn't let you pick up tampons. No. Nope. But they exist. <laughs> oh, these vitamins are a health thing I believe you can use. Floss. 300 yards of floss. See, surprisingly, you can't take the floss. That seems like something an adventure game would yeah, want you to... Yeah, it really would be. Yeah. They don't let you take it. No. Nope. Band-aids. You also can't take the band-aids, even though that seems like a health item as well. Mm -hmm. So we just totally raided their cabinet here. Yeah. I, they probably won't miss any of that stuff. Yeah. This picture on the wall is crooked. Let's operate it. <laughs> operate the picture. Whoa! This, like, tender music. <laughs> It's so inappropriate. So yeah, that's, so that's there. Yep. You can, that's a secret thing in the bathroom for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Reasons that become more apparent later. Because Mr. Potsdam is a horrible person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. So that explains the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing Spec Ops the Line on a stream. That's like a that's like a game you gotta have emotional moments with by yourself. Think about it. Your makeup looks just fine when you look in the mirror. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I also love that she was wearing, like, slinky lingerie under, like, <laughs> totally normal clothes. Yeah. Hey, Steph, what's up? Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because this, I can't remember a damn this thing. This music keeps, like, restarting over and over again. <laughs> oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's Dude. going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The music... Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. That, that's a weird bug. That's a weird bug wedding. in the game when you play it in modern systems. It's kind of... Fucks up with the loops. Oh well. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember anything. <laughs> in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, like a parody, a bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? I get it. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> a parody. Join the club. <laughs> uh -huh. crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. They won't tell you why? Each one blames <laughs> the other for grounding me. They make up different music. excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. So I sit up here, watch the world outside my window, and listen to the noises in the house. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything that might help us figure this thing out? Every morning, a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam <laughs> yep. sets out on the porch for him. Up there with one winged angel. Mm -hmm. Some morning she forgets, and the boy gets furious. He gives me the creeps. Anything else you can tell? Yeah, Bruce, we've already, already met that dude. I hear these weird scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes. Like something is sliding along the wall. Claws, maybe. And Mr. Potsdam. I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. Both of them are always watching me. Especially him. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Escape. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Yeah, I think you're right. Of course I'm right. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. Oh, Chip, go get that the fan art in the there. Lodge, it's always in this hushed, oh. reverent tone. I'll post it. Yep. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join. But she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. <laughs> She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. Can you post in the you chat? Think the Lodge is some kind of trap. Yeah, just a second. I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building, all lit up at night, and I get scared. Let's see, does this work? <laughs> it's I mean, the same look at clip. The damn thing. There you go. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? 
<laughs> nice. Was that a duck? <laughs> yeah, it's a duck. Why? <laughs> Why is there a duck? <laughs> I also like how you're a floating head. Me too. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> See if what she responds to if I do fuck, probably nothing. Yeah, probably You're not nothing. making sense. No. Oh. Oh. Bah. I should have just clicked Come it. Come back and visit me soon. Sure, that's me, okay. the large guy. I am totally DDF. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I should give her the tampon, right? <laughs> right? How do I ask you about ta Use tampons on Stephanie. Are you making Ugh. some kind of point? Nah. She doesn't, doesn't tell you nothing about it. There's nothing to click in here, just Stephanie. Yep, there's nothing else ever in this room. Well, closet door won't budge. Lie, but... <laughs> yeah, later there's things in that room. Mm -hmm. Alright, so where do we want to go next, guys? Um. Oh no, let's see. How about I'm trying to think of things that got mentioned so that it makes sense? We can go to the, the meat plant. Mm hmm. If you wanted to, since that was mentioned. Harvest meats, ink. <laughs> Punch it. Pew. I love all the cats mm -hmm. that are here. Bloody tire tracks. God, there's still... <laughs> there's still a uh, marching band music. Mm -hmm. Time to meet the meat. Meow. <laughs> Kitty. Meow. Pat O'Reilly. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That, getting into the lodge. What's with all these cats? What's with all the cats? What's up with these cats? Is this a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at... Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? You seem defensive, I wonder why. Maybe hmm. I get sick of do-gooder busybodies sucking around here all the time. A man's up to his elbows Ugh. and guts all day, every day. What more do they want from him? <laughs> These aspect ratios. Mm -hmm. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. <laughs> and a strong stomach. <laughs> a lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. <laughs> of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest cuts. <laughs> Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality <laughs> while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Oh. This is constantly changing. Constant jump cuts to these like really bad pre-rendered <laughs> things that change aspect ratios. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Your father's very particular about the profits, Steve. No freebies for anyone. <laughs> but seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things. If you're creative. <laughs> These cuts. <laughs> I love them. So, I meant to ask about the lodge, too. Everyone's talking about it. The Order of the Harvest Moon sponsors a weenie roast on the lodge grounds every summer. A weenie roast. So they tend to get their meat elsewhere the rest of the We're week. going to have a weenie roast in a week. Find out is to sign up with them. They're a great organization. Everybody get out your weenies. Wonderful work. <laughs> Just like us butchers. They do what needs to be done and expect nothing in return. Then how do they support themselves? Membership dues? From what I hear, the work is its own reward. All right, that sounds <laughs> that sounds like plenty. Stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Let's go to the diner. If I remember where the diner is. Oh, there it is. It's kind of in the middle here. Oh, oh yeah. It's kind of weird. DNA's diner. Dino DNA. <laughs> diner DNA. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Your name is spelled weird. Hi, what's your name? Karen. What are you doing? Playing. My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Not now. Maybe later. Okay. Bye-bye. So people who might be worried, like, hey, this this convicted uh, sex offender pedophile guy has some scenes with children. That's disconcerting. It's okay because all these people were never on set together at any any time during the <laughs> yes. production of this. It was all blue screen stuff. None of these actors like ever met each other, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, Steve, what are you doing? Blah blah Sneaking blah. Up on you like that? God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. <sighs> what would you like to order? <laughs> Well, you're in Edna's diner. That ought to be your first clue. I thought this was DNA's diner. Very funny. If certain customers would stop pretending to have amnesia and order some food, maybe I could afford to get that sign fixed. Might even be able to buy enough extra letters to spell Fitzpatrick. I'm not pretending. Now, Steve, faking amnesia won't help <laughs> That angry anything. face. If you don't want to marry <laughs> Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. You've met Karen, my 8-year-old. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Oh, God. Echoey kiss effect noise. <laughs> Echo! Echo! That kid should not be sitting on that floor. It looks gross. Uh, yeah, right? There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie, Steve. You should be grateful that she's promised you her hand. I don't remember that happening, Edna. Honestly, you men are so childish. I don't know what it is about marriage that turns even the bravest man into a coward. I was going to marry Karen's father when he just up and ran out on me one night. I heard that he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Even Sheriff Duane wasn't able to find out what happened to him. Mr. Johnson has a... a liking for me. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. He's never gotten over being rejected by the Lodge, and there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the Sheriff comes in every day at noon. So Mr. Johnson is a horrible person too. Mm -hmm. I'm excited yeah. to, to show him off because I think yeah. the game's trying to say something interesting about him. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Dwayne is such a dear man. And I don't just say that because he's my most regular customer. Every single day, rain or shine, he comes in here at noon for lunch. 
sits in the same spot, too. That's at least an hour every day when I can be sure Mr. Johnson won't show up. You know, it's funny. Dwayne never comes in here with Deputy Loomis, but he frequently dines with Mr. McKnight. You know, the owner of the TV station. Sometimes he comes in with Postmaster Boyle, but somehow I don't think they're friends. Hmm, Postmaster Boyle, huh? Though I see them together a lot, Boyle and the Sheriff never act very friendly towards each other. Almost like there's some kind of bond between them besides friendship. Though what it might be, I can't imagine. Maybe Sheriff Duane resents the fact that he's never been able to get into the lodge. And a lot of people who haven't been able to get into the lodge. Who has gotten into the lodge? He doesn't yeah, like it, who gets into just the house. lodge guy. <laughs> just yeah, it's just the lodge lodge guy. TV station, because that option went away. Lodge guy made Mr. that super McKnight exclusive club that only he can be, and just so he can feel better about himself. He seems to mm -hmm. get along with Sheriff Duane better than Boyle does. Better than just about anyone to tell the truth. I don't see the connection between them, but I'll bet you dollars to donuts that it's there anyhow. All right, that's probably enough from her. Stop by any time, mm. Steve. We learned the important stuff, which was you know about Karen and about Mr. Johnson. A smoke alarm is up there. Let's oh yeah, visit. a smoke alarm. Let's go visit Mr. Johnson now that we learned about him. He lives up here. Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? Oh, God, that guy's eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though so if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. And you are... You Ugh, this guy. Were a kid, yeah, he's probably one of the greatest characters in the game. He's the worst. I love him. Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Let's see how he thinks about Edna. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good hard penis. Yep. <laughs> and I could talk to him about the word penis. Ugh. Here we go! What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? He's over at DNA's dining every day from noon to one, eating his dad gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure, it's the only diner in town, but I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. And yeah, like during that whole part, there's like a, a chicken getting repeatedly shot in the background <laughs> when you're talking about dicks to this guy. Yeah, you can hear like that somebody like shooting repeatedly. an arrow. No, it's a it's a shotgun, I think. Isn't there a, the sound of somebody like shooting a bow and arrow too? Oh, maybe I didn't hear yet. DNA's done it does good business. Money isn't everything to a woman. Can money keep you warm at night? Can you wrap your thighs around it? Rake bloody gashes in its back with your painted hollowed fingernails? Edna? Edna! So, how's Stephanie? So, how's Stephanie? <laughs> Speaking of Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. I don't have anything to do with that. That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. 
you could use the back seat of my Tucker for the maiden voyage. It's plenty big. Believe you me, I'd drive you around. And I wouldn't look in the back seat. I guarantee it. Though if you'd like to come Ugh. up front and take the wheel away, Oof. I wouldn't say nay. Let's talk about his car, the Tucker. Mm -hmm. Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Can I take a look at it? Don't see why not, but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so that I could lock her up. Yeah, there's an arrow sound. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. A few months back, someone broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Remember I showed you another thing? Nope, also that chicken that. that chicken noise is definitely the cuckoo sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> gonna ask him about meat. <laughs> I don't No, I'm gonna ask him about fuck. <laughs> I I think he gets my meeting with fuck though. I know. Mm -hmm. So, I think this character is super interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice fan art. <laughs> I think this character is super interesting because he objectifies that woman so, so terribly and wants to basically harm her. Meanwhile, he, like, womanifies the Tucker and wants yeah. to protect the car more than he wants to, you know, treat this woman like a person. And I like to think that's what, that might have been what the developers was trying to do there, maybe. I like the idea of that. <laughs> I feel like you don't really have to reach for, for that conclusion. No. I like that idea. Where else should we go? How about the newspaper building? Because it's burnt right. down. Not much to see here. A shovel sticking out of the building's ashes. And I can take it. I can use the shovel on the ashes. And... A few hidden remnants. I have to operate the ashes. <laughs> it's a bake sale flyer. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, what's this? Postal worker's button. Oh. <gasps> What? Jiggity what? Do I still have the shovel? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Arming shovel. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's dig. Let's dig in the sky. Let's dig horizontally. Let's dig like normal. <laughs> it's shovel night, yes. <laughs> this is a shovel night prequel. <laughs> They made the, the Shovel Knight sequel way more kid-friendly. I'm not sure if I like this direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That is all there is to do here, really. Yep. Three fire hydrants, and the building still burned down. What? <laughs> Good observation, Steve. Maybe we should ask the firemen. <sighs> Maybe we... <laughs> no, I don't really want to look at the firemen let's right now. Let's not talk about the firemen right now. Um, let's check out... Well, they talked about the TV station earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll talk about the firemen uh, later. We don't... Mm -hmm. We don't want to... Maybe a different stream. Yeah, I don't... This is a happy stream. We don't want to talk about the firemen right now. <laughs> Another Tucker. Like, everyone's got a Tucker. <laughs> this is a quote unquote happy stream where we try to fuck our moms, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, this area has that thing I was never able to do before. Mm. I lost my chance. I forget what happens if you actually do it. I think there's no consequences if you do it. Hmm. If, if you're, if you're thinking of the same thing I'm thinking you're thinking of. The safe. 
Mm hmm. Yeah. Never managed to open it. Cardboard TP. Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. <laughs> and what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, Steve? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Here you go, then. I want to talk to him about TV violence for some reason. <laughs> violence? What about it? Children watch your show. Don't you think violence is bad for them? Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. <laughs> Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I ripped the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. Unless they want to go untreated for psychotic hallucinations, or wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Oh, shit! Ow! Oh, shit on a stickeroo! <laughs> This game. The parents that are griping about violence on Shit TV on are the room. same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. But should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Look at Steve standing around like all impatient over here. <laughs> <sighs> Can't talk now, Buckaroo. We're on in just a sec. I don't think I can ask him anything else. Maybe about the lodge. I wonder if he cares about the lodge. Oh, I wonder. Why? I don't think I ever asked him about that. No, he literally doesn't know anything Happy about the trail, lodge. Huh. That's pretty interesting. So you say, chat, oh, real subtle commentary you got there, but the thing is, the game doesn't quite know what its opinion is about violence in the media. <laughs> No, not really. Not quite all the way, because it makes both points that that violence is bad, kids shouldn't watch it, and it also makes the other point that that's bullshit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, oh, you really should have decided first before you argued, before you <laughs> tried to make a game about it. <laughs> they just put everything out there, man. Yeah, they just threw everything they had. Maybe it's just like, hey, both sides can be hypocritical in their own ways, but mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't really know. So, check out this picture. Kiss my pineapple, red muffy. I can operate it and there is a wall safe back here. It requires a number combination. I forget how you if could you don't get out of here right now, I'm having you I never managed to trespassing. do it. You're not required to do it, but... Mm -hmm. Hey, sport. This is a Talk private to this guy. Office. Yeah, I know, Mr... McKnight. I own and operate this station. Have you brought me some news for tonight's broadcast, or... I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is! You always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> How many of those are we up to? Five? I think that's five. Just wanting to okay. know more about the TV station. Hey, WHAR is the only television station well, in <laughs> since the old Sentinel went under. What with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. An odd coincidence. Hey now, Sport, that's an irresponsible allegation. I had nothing to do with that fire. Just because WHAR may have benefited from it and I danced on the ashes a little doesn't mean I torched <laughs> the place. <laughs> you can ask Sheriff Dwayne. Give me doubts. You seem awfully touchy on the subject, Sport. I'm touchy when people try to muscle their way into my business. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave my office and don't come back. Don't hurry back. So you can't, you can't talk to Mr. McKnight anymore, and I'm gonna oh. save. Yeah. 
Get him with the shovel. Shovel night. <laughs> Get a good angle on this guy. Alright, I wanna I wanna be like over here. Oh come on. <laughs> he walks like all scooted over. <laughs> Look at that! He just like, his head came off practically. Oh my god. Let's operate the desk. I find a combination safe manual. Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm, this is how you do it. You have to kill the guy. <laughs> god. Oh look, I got a Range Rider's autograph. <laughs> Howdy, Steve! <laughs> Oh wow, he he degraded over that time I spent in the oh inventory. My God. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> anyway, where's that manual? All right, oh four two three seven one five eight four twenty three seven one five eight. I don't know if I actually have to remember that. It's locked with a combination. Operate it. Operate it, Steve. We have to drag it. Yeah, I opened the safe. Let's check out what's in there. I found the deed to the TV station. <laughs> oh, that's a really good drawing. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Unequip the shovel, so he'd look less suspicious. Um. <laughs> yep. Oh, I guess Dwayne Dwayne runs the, the station now. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Let's leave. Our business is concluded <laughs> here. Can't talk now. Hey, I just killed your boss. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Later. John Johns is now Dwayne Dwayne. <laughs> maybe that's where they got it from. Yeah, so, maybe. yeah, the TV producer guy is one of the few people you could kill that uh, the game doesn't care. You don't go to jail, you don't get killed. You don't yep. get arrested. The game does not give a shit that you kill that guy. Yeah, killing him means you don't see him all burned up later, which happens as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but... That's why you can talk to him while he's burned up, right? <laughs> no, that's Range Rider. Oh, yeah. Um, so, where was I going to go? I was gonna do something. I think I was gonna go to the, the police station. Yeah, 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 there it is. I thought it was in the upper left for some reason. Oh. Uh, he's writing a bug report on a Volkswagen. Oh, uh, computer nerd joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. I don't know how long you want to stream for. I don't know how I long have I been streaming for. <laughs> hour and a half. All right. You. I feel like you should end the stream with the missile base. Yes, I completely agree with you. <laughs> Also, I have to use the bathroom, so okay. excuse me. Enter entertain the, the kids <gasps> with some violence what? while I'm gone. Okay, I'll kill somebody. Okay. Hey, who wants to get murdered by me? I'll do it the harvester style. I'll just like punch you once and you'll explode into goo. <laughs> And then it'll probably end up being pretty bad for me, so I'll just re reload afterwards. Okay, there are way too many people who want to be killed. We're going to have to have some sort of dueling roster set up, so everybody duels each other, and the last person alive gets to get killed. I wish I could set up the pole, but I do not have pole power. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. I should be doing the lodge uh, guy voice. He has a name. I forget what it is. Hello. Didn't sound like you were entertaining him. <laughs> I was reading the chat after I said stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Is he talking the moment yes. you get here? Yes, it's the law. <laughs> I was saying that we should set up a poll to see, to see who wants to get killed by me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get killed harvester style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too many people said they wanted to be killed, so I was saying that we should set up a duel roster. Everybody duels each other, and the last man alive gets to get killed. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a Hunger Games Battle Royale thing. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk to Dwayne Dwayne. Finally meet the Dwayne infamous... Dwayne. <laughs> the infamous Dwayne Dwayne. Hello, My Steve. best friend. Let me introduce <laughs> myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. And this here is Loomis. Pleasure, I reckon. Then, we haven't met before? Of course we have. But I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank. And not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean, or you'll wind up in jail, and that's no place to hold a wedding. Sorry, Steve. I I'm a little too shaken to talk right now. <laughs> Mr. McKnight's been killed, and, well, it's hit me hard uh, for some reason. I've got to think about this. So he, know he knows that his friend is dead. He doesn't know who did it, though. <laughs> Even though the game automatically knows when you kill anybody else in the game. Yep. That's really weird. Yeah, that's yeah, it's pretty weird. I never did this stuff when I played this game. No, because, you know, didn't get into the safe. If you don't know that you can just kill that guy and get away with it, why would you ever yeah. get into the safe, you know? Yeah. You wouldn't even know about that. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, <laughs> you've always been, kidder, <laughs> been a kidder, Steve. Always been a kidder, Steve. Six. Keeps telling Six, me. yeah. Boy, you need to stop all this funning and get serious. You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career. <laughs> Whoever killed him did with a shovel, watch. just like the blood shovel you're carrying around right now. <laughs> Amnesia or no. You can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. I think you and Stephanie are perfect for each other. I just hope her father's disappointment doesn't spoil everything. Disappointment? Mr. Potsdam wants to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month, waiting for Boyle to bring out that month's lodge applications. There's always a long line, never enough applications to go around, and even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Pure call to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless he does something radical, he'll never get it. Something in. radical, you say? Also, yeah, Stephanie's the only normal person in Harvest because she's just like you. She can't remember anything. She's not supposed to be here. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. no other normal people in Harvest, except Edna, maybe. She's yeah, pretty normal. Yeah, I think Edna's the most normal other character. Mm-hmm. Uh, less strange, and also, uh... Like, probably the nicest character in the game. Yeah. Crime-wise, nothing much has happened in Harvest since the newspaper fire. Oh, sure. Every week or so, we get the odd transient dropping dead. But other than that, it gets pretty slow around here. Newspaper fire. Yeah, you remember? The Sentinel building burned down about six months ago. That's what I'm telling you, Sheriff. I don't remember anything. Why won't you believe I have amnesia? Well, you've always been I've a been kidder, a kidder Steve. Steve. Anyway, Seven? The, fire Seven. the fire was caused by arson. I never caught the perp, though. But we found the gas can that was used. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. It's in the evidence room. A evidence oh, room. That's classified. Darn it. How many times you gonna have to tell me to keep my mouth shut, I wonder. Sorry, boss. You've got the gas can in the evidence room? 
Did you dust it for Prince? <laughs> uh, you've been watching too much TV, Steve. Hey, <laughs> who can make out all those curvy lines anyhow? No, it's sitting in there gathering dust, clean as the day we found it. Just in case I ever need a spare gas can. <laughs> that case is closed, Steve. Tell me about Loomis. Loomis here is my deputy. Without him, I'd have a hard time keeping the peace. Or at least taking a lunch break. Mainly Loomis answers the phone and babysits the office while I'm out. Though sometimes he likes to go in the back and stain the jail mattress. Isn't that right, Loomis? Oh, uh, yeah, yep. Sheriff, what you gotta go well. and say that for? Loomis has more than his share of problems. I wouldn't invite him to the wedding. Or if you do, make sure he doesn't catch the garter. That could be embarrassing. Oh, I wouldn't do nothing, Dwayne. But I sure would like a little garter than been around Stephanie's thigh. Oh. So many old men are gross in this right. game. Pretty yeah, much all the guys gross. are gross in this game. Yeah, pretty much. I think, like, yeah, every single man in this game is, is pretty gross, except maybe the postmaster. I don't think he does anything sexually deviant. The postmaster and also... The sergeant at arms live yeah. guy. Yeah, he doesn't he, do anything too weird. Or no. He's not <laughs> weird. He's, he's just your belt he's just weird in a different way. Thing at harvest. <sighs> Disappoint. Oops, I already <laughs> talked about this. Yeah, I already talked about the lodge. I don't too, mind right? telling you, I'd never get mm -hmm. anything done if not oh, no, for the lodge's efforts. Oh. To join the order of the Harvest Moon is the highest dream of everyone in Harvest. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. When I was a boy, I wanted uh, to join the lodge. Mew, you've been gone for the last 30 minutes. If you missed anything good, you missed us murdering Except a man and getting away with it. Mm -hmm. help me. A man can't realize his dreams without help. My failure to gain admission is the failure of all of Harvest, Steve. And don't you forget it. Boy, I love this, like, fluorescent I light hum in here. Lodge. Yeah. Or you will soon enough. Especially with the wedding coming up. Bye. Stop on by any time. I'm gonna save. Mm hmm. Before I show him the deed, just in case that's a bad idea. Mm hmm. I guess I shall start to Loomis first. I can help you with. Oh, yeah. Help yourself. Speaking of which, you're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Loomis. Mrs. Her Loomis. Forbid Mrs. <laughs> Phelps. Good women can be awful hard on a man's needs, don't you know? Let's talk to him about a man's needs. No. Here we go. Oh. You sure ought to appreciate <sighs> what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or a waist high knot hole in a tree <laughs> or jail cell at noon. Waist high knot hole. Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get any, it's see clear to part with them. Bring them round when the sheriff's at lunch, and I I'd be obliged. French postcards, you say? Of course, I don't necessarily mean French postcards. That's just what we called them in my day. Any kind of girly picture book, the kind men like. Would be just dandy. Just dandy. Great, <laughs> you know, if you were to bring me one. Who's Mrs. Phelps? Mrs. Phelps down at the general store don't help things none. She's got them special picture books. The one with the lady. But she won't sell me none on account of she knows my wife, Mrs. Loomis. 
Another woman who, who doesn't have a first name, Mrs. Loomis and Mrs. Phelps. Mm -hmm. They all exist in relation to their men. Listen, I get the broom enough to break a man's heart. Her burning my French postcards, and we unable to replace them. A man's got need, don't you know? I'm an old man, and I need to masturbate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's show this deed to this this guy. Your name's on the deed. Well, yeah. Look at this. Fresh from the safe down at W H A R. I guess you killed McKnight to get this, huh? <laughs> yeah, off him, all right. Versus Nan, nah, nice fairy lifted under my pillow. <laughs> what should I say? Uh, I want to see what happens if you say you often. Boop. Mm, no big loss. No big loss. <laughs> it just means I don't have to split the profits with him anymore. You're probably thinking this is evidence of my negligence. My failure to properly investigate the newspaper fire. Maybe even complicity, since the newspaper and the TV station were rivals. Something like that. <laughs> And you figure to blackmail me with this? It's gotta be worth a lot to you, Sheriff. <laughs> Steve, when you blackmail someone, you never bring the originals along. If you do, your target can take them away. And then where are you? I made copies. I doubt it. Or you'd have brought them along. No, Steve. No, Steve. I think I'll just have to take that risk. Oh! <laughs> Somebody help me! <laughs> what do you people want from me? <laughs> Too late for that, boy. Ain't it, sorry? I just want to see the, the shaving cream again. Yeah. Enjoy your shaving cream. <laughs> Enjoy the shaving cream. <laughs> I can't do that voice too, too many times in a row because it actually hurts my throat just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Makes my throat get kind of dry. Yep. So remember kids, that's not how you do blackmail. <laughs> yep, that's the moral right there. Good thing I saved. Yep. Huh. So I must check out these other things. Oh, I can't. I have to get well, in there later. The evidence room. Yeah. Where we store items lifted from Check out the scenes. missile base. If mm -hmm. It's kept locked at all times. It is That's pretty late. late. I could I could wrap the stream up with the missile base. Jump through hoops yeah. If I wanted. So I guess next Look. time we'll we'll get some porn for that old man. Definitely. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, I love the missile base. It's great. This whole game's great. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We're gonna want to save here. <laughs> oh for, yeah, definitely. For reasons. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Garbooth is the only building on the base. Everything else is just missiles and planes. <laughs> and yeah. no hangars or anything. Everything's just out. <laughs> oh, man. Electrified chain link fence. It's not very... It's very short, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how short it is. It's the little things. Alright, let's talk to Colonel Buster Monroe. Oh, who goes there? Buster. Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All oh, right. Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are yes, you? Yes, he is legless. Colonel Buster Monroe, mm -hmm. commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. 
keeping America safe from those who would die a flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. <laughs> Along with the vodka. <laughs> well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. <laughs> then you have sole control of the, uh, <laughs> That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. When I got my lower torso <laughs> shot off. I got my head. lower torso shot off. Those panty waists <laughs> in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me. Was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Look at all these things we could talk about. Mm -hmm. Somebody remember all of them because they're gonna go away. Oh jeez. I want to talk about intestines. <laughs> Funny thing about it is, you wouldn't think so, but you've got about three miles of intestines in your body. Curled up. Now that came in handy as I gauged my progress. While I crawled from Germany to England, <laughs> my intestines would unravel. God. Such that every three miles I'd have to roll them back up and stuff them back in. It became my benchmark. <laughs> what I lived for. Oh my god. Every time I stuffed my intestines back in, I knew I was three miles closer to freedom. In this way, I kept my sanity. That's what I told those idiots in Washington. But did they listen? No. Some weak sister shrink said I was too emotionally unstable to kill Koreans. So they transferred me to this boring stockpile of armed nuclear warheads. And to top it off, those pansy firemen won't let me join the Harvest Volunteer Fire Department. Oh, it makes you wonder. What's the point of going on? Um, I don't know if we want to talk about the firemen yet. Nah. Let's talk about emotional instability. Of course, they wouldn't have given you the, uh, button if you were really, oh, say, emotionally unstable. Of course not. I was given a full exam by my captors in the concentration camp, and I was captured during my second penetration behind enemy lines. The year after I lost my lower torso, it was quite thorough. What did it say? I don't know. I can't read German. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can't get shot in two equal but separate portions without feeling a little <laughs> down. <laughs> equal but separate Ooh, portions. That doesn't mean I'm unbalanced. A little lighter, maybe, but my balance is fine. <laughs> Still, is it abnormal to harbor doubts late at night when your boots in the corner mock you? Is it sick to want to poke them in their eyelets and rip out their laughing tongues? Then you feel bad, and you invite them under the covers with you, but will they come? Oh no! <laughs> spit and polish, spit and polish, trump, 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 a long, long way to temporary, especially when you're waddling on your hands. Get some gloves, they say, and their high-pitched little voices and snicker in the boot locker, talking to my jock strap behind my back. Talking to my jock strap. a good nuclear holocaust. So t tell me about a nuclear holocaust! <laughs> Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. You learn that when something actually happens, it's never <laughs> your body as bad shot as you in half. <laughs> oh, sure, I can't write my name in the snow. I had to shell Even out he talks about his dick. <laughs> portable IV drips, colostomy mm. bags, and so on. The pain is hardly what I'd call constant. I have my good days when I pass out completely. <laughs> we're never asked to endure more than we're capable of handling, mister. Folks would die in a nuclear holocaust, but nobody would die who wasn't going to die anyway sooner or later. <laughs> and the rest of us? Why, we'd take a little R&R &R at the old radiation bunker, climb out in two weeks, 
and go back to work refreshed and ready to contribute as productive members of society again. Makes me wonder why I don't just push the button and take me a nice vacation. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't? I could tell him to press the button right now. Yep. No reason I can think of, Colonel. Blast away! Alright, soldier. You talked me into it. Unfortunately, there's only room in my shelter for one. <laughs> yep. Giddy up. <laughs> you are dead, dead, dead. <laughs> There's like five or six different ways you can cause that dude to just shoot you. There, and yeah, there's a lot missiles. of there's a lot of ways to to talk to that guy incorrectly. <laughs> but yeah, the, the button is literally on him. Like if he just lays down. <laughs> yeah, if he ever just you know stops holding himself up, it's on his his butt basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, his yeah, lower there's... toe is so shot off. <laughs> But yeah, there is absolutely nothing to actually do with the missile base. Mm -hmm. It's just there to be commentary. Yeah. There's no nothing, literally nothing to do there. Just laugh it's at this. It's a butt this. on. Yeah, it's a butt on, yes. We just go there and laugh at America's uh, nuclear policies. <laughs> <laughs> and treatment of veterans and stuff. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's it for tonight. Let's end it on a nuclear holocaust. Mm -hmm. And thanks for hanging out and watching Harvester. Good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. God damn it. Good night. <laughs>